Where's the uppercut? Back at the hook. Now push off. Okay, one, two. It feels great. I mean, all that work, it finally pays off. I mean, Ed's been doing a great job with me. I've been going all different gyms. Thanks to Ed and Richie, I mean, they take, they spend a lot of their day just taking me around. All these good gyms uh, down by the city. It's, it's a lot of great work for me. Can Jimmy win that state title by taking advantage of the contrast of styles? He was a good fighter. He was a good boxer. I just had to stay inside, just keep my head moving, and just go after that body. He was, uh, he was pretty tall and skinny, so I just had to do what I had to do. Speaking of styles, how would you describe yourself as a boxer? Are you, are you a puncher, are you a finesse guy, or are you well-rounded? I mean, just from so many years of doing it, I, uh, I mean, I could punch. I, uh, I mean, everyone says I have pretty quick hands. So, I mean, I've, I've been working a lot. I'm trying to move my head a lot more. So, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think I got a little bit of everything, but I want to obviously keep working on everything and try and make everything as, as perfect as I can. He's learned to adapt. I'm a, I'm a basic foundation guy, and he knows how to fight the runner, the boxer, the puncher, and he puts it all together. His, his nemesis was the, uh, the southpaw. Uh, he, had a, he had a loss with uh, Canada when they were down here, uh, I guess about a year ago. And uh, we worked on that real hard. And since then, he's had about, I guess, four or five. And he's handled all of them gracefully, no problem at all. Okay, Jimmy's worked very hard with his trainer, Ed Leahy, to become the boxer he is today. Anthony um, originally was a uh, kickboxer. Uh, he came to us in between football season, um, kickboxing. He just came to basically stay in shape and see what boxing was all about. Um, it, it, you know, it's just like a broken schedule for like three or four years. Um, you know, with that, he's had about 20, 21 fights now. He's been on a string of wins now. He's got 10 wins in a row. Uh, just won the 165-pound open division for the state of New Jersey. Uh, just won the first round of the Golden Gloves. Um, brought him to Canada last year. Had two wins up there. Honestly, I used to do karate since I was about four years old, and then from there... I went to kickboxing, and then from kickboxing, it translated over to boxing. And how's that transition been going? Obviously, pretty well for you. Yeah, I mean, it took a lot of time. I'm not going to lie. I mean, again, thanks to Ed and all the guys in the gym. I mean, they do a good job helping me out, helping me with my training, all my, all my running, going to all different gyms. I mean, everyone's been real good with me. Becoming a serious boxer is something you can't take lightly. It takes a lot of time. I mean, I'm here almost every day on the weekends. I mean, even when I'm not... I'm not here training. I'm out on the streets running. Um, I'm lifting weights. I mean, it, it, it's, it's huge. I mean, between that and school, I'm, I'm booked. I mean, I, I don't have any time to get into any trouble, I mean, which is good. I mean, that's why I love, I love being here or being at school. And when I'm not doing that, I'm at home. So I have no time to, to be out wandering the streets or anything like that. So it's good. As most people know, Ken Jimmy was a great football player for Vic Paranastro's Pope John football team. And he says the two sports help him out. I think boxing helps football more just because it keeps me leaner, keeps my feet a lot quicker. And I mean, it's kind of hard to translate from football over to boxing because I got to cut all that weight and just get used to everything, getting back in shape. I mean, football, it's, it's tough. I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's two different kinds of shapes. So, I mean, translating them, I mean, it's, it's tough. But I mean, I look forward to it. I mean, luckily, I'm done with football now and I'm just doing boxing now 100%. Anthony has some Golden Gloves fights ahead of him. He isn't looking too far into the future. He just wants to make sure he becomes a better boxer every day. As of right now, I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to keep, keep fighting as an amateur. I want to win uh, the Golden Gloves. I mean, luckily I won the States already. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to keep training and see how it goes. Because of his age and where he's at, school, I mean, there's a lot of things on his plate. So what we're, what we're going to do with him is take the slow road. We're going to try to get him maybe, uh, you know, regional, national, you know, championship and then possibly get them on the Olympic trials four years from now. That would be our goal at this point.